Hey guys, it's Amanda over at Amanda Reads and today I'm coming to you with finally part two of my big book haul from last month. Originally I definitely planned for this to be a two-part November book haul but some books took longer than I expected to get here so now we're gonna just finish it this month in December. I have a huge amount of books to show you. The first book I have to show you is one that I was sent from a publisher. I'm a part of the Sarah Morgan US Review crew and so I was sent the third book in her From Manhattan with Love trilogy which is called Miracle on Fifth Avenue. I'm not going to give a synopsis for this book because like I just said it's the last book in a trilogy so I don't want to give any spoilers away and I can't wait to continue and finish this book. It is so cute already. Next I have three books that I purchased from Book Outlet that I've actually already read. This is a really popular middle grade series. They're really hard to get on Amazon. They only have a few in stock at all times. They're kind of expensive so when I'm seeing them I'm really just kind of placing the orders as they come. So I was able to purchase three of the books in the series. And that series is A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. First I purchased book two, The Reptile Room, book six, The Earthsat's Elevator, and book nine, The Carnivorous Carnival. If you don't know, A Series of Unfortunate Events is about three orphans. After their parents pass away, they are sent to live with their only relative, Count Olaf. However, Count Olaf is evil and the children are actually taken away from him and this follows their series of hijinks and trying to escape him and all of his plots to kind of get them back and it's a really entertaining middle grade series. I have not finished it yet. I'm really slacking on it actually. Next I have the fourth book I think it is in a series that I have none of the other books in so I decided why not start collecting them if they come up on book outlet. We're not going to spend crazy money on them because we have so much time left before the series is over so I was just going to start placing orders if they came up on book outlet and this book in the series did and that was Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Mass and this is part of the Throne of Glass series. I decided that I wanted to start getting these in hardcover because I am just really bad at reading paperbacks. I feel like they're so fragile and I'm so nervous when I read them. I'm not going to give a synopsis of this. You can find plenty of synopses anywhere you want. The next duology I have is the most beautiful box set I think I've ever seen. I got the Six of Crows duology which includes Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom and I absolutely love how they look and I just love this. This is so beautiful. All I know is it's about this group of people. It takes place in the Grisha world and they're on a heist and they have this crazy plan. I read the Grisha trilogy at the beginning of this year. They were the first books I read in 2016 and I absolutely love them and I kind of want to make these the first books I read in 2017 to kind of carry on with the whole Leigh Bardugo theme. So in the first part of this haul I believe I hauled um, Bad Romeo and Broken Juliet by Lisa Raven and I was under the impression that that was a duology and then I realized that this is actually a series and that there are three books out and there are more coming out and there are novellas and so many things. Lucky for me, the third book was on Book Outlet, so I purchased it, and that is Wicked Heart by Lisa Raven. The first two books were so hyped that I genuinely thought it was just a satisfying duology, but now that I know it's a series, I just know it's that good, and so I'm really excited to get into it. Next up, I have another boxed set of a trilogy. I ended up going with paperback rather than hardcover because it was such a big price difference on Amazon, but that is the school for Good and Evil trilogy. The School for Good and Evil is book one, A World Without Princes is book two, and The Last Ever After is book three. Basically it's about these two girls and they go to the school and the way it works is if you're good you go to the school for good and if you're bad you go to the school for evil and if you're like trained on either side. These girls are pretty sure they know what their destiny is but apparently it doesn't work out that way and then they have to kind of sit and re-examine their lives. It's really about like good and evil and is there such thing as just being defined as one or can you have both and so I think it sounds really interesting and even though it's middle grade it sounds like it addresses some pretty interesting moral topics so I'm definitely excited to read this. The next bind up of novellas I have is a book that came out in November. These were released in ebook format a long time ago. I actually read the first story. I pre-ordered this and decided not to read any more of the novellas until it came and that is Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, and Robin Wasserman. And this takes place after the last book in the Mortal Instruments series and before the Dark Artifices. The next book I have is one that I was really excited to find on Book Outlet. I hauled a book from this series a couple years ago. I am absolutely obsessed with the TV show Ghost Whisperer, which has Jennifer Love Hewitt in it. I absolutely love it. I love the whole premise. I love, it's just, 
It's a quality show. It's on Netflix. You should totally watch it. Ghost Trap by Dorana Durgan. Melinda Gordon is a ghost whisperer. She always like finds this ghost and just kind of help them be at peace. They can cross over and it's really good. Next, I have a book that I never knew was coming out, but for some reason I think it popped up on like something I might like on Amazon, and that is Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick. I think that she is absolutely hilarious, and I think that she's so spunky and sassy, and so when I found out that she was writing a memoir, I was like, that will probably be something I love. The next book I have is one that I picked up from Scholastic when I was placing my students' book orders, and that is Space Dumplings by Craig Thompson. I know that it's about the main character, Violet, and her father goes missing when he's on some sort of space mission and so her and like a gang of friends have to go on a mission to try and save her father and find him. I actually ordered this for the kids. I'm only hauling it because I am going to be reading it just to make sure that there's nothing I think that they could find inappropriate or make inappropriate. The next book I have is The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. This book came out very recently. Minda McGinnis wrote um, Not a Drop to Drink duology. What I know is this is about a girl named Alex whose sister was murdered I believe and the person who did it got away with it and when that happened Alex got really upset and did some sort of violent crime and she ended up getting away with it. She's kind of knowing that she's gotten away with it, started to live a quiet life, but there's a boy and he's interested in her and I think he like knows maybe what happened. I really like what I've read so far from Mindy McGinnis, so I'm really excited to pick this up. Next I have This Is Our Story by Ashley Elston. This is about five guy friends and they go hunting and then one of them gets murdered and so four of them come out of the woods. No one really knows who fired the shot that killed the fifth friend. I think this follows the district attorney who takes on the case and is trying to get justice for the murdered victim. She starts to find out that nothing is what it seems about this case and that there's a lot more to it and it's a very dangerous thing for her to be involved in. I've seen a lot of videos about this praising this and so I'm very excited to get to it. The next book I have is a book that was like featured on the main page of Book Outlet. That is Redemption Road by John Hart. It has pretty good reviews on Goodreads. It's over four stars. Reading the dust jacket I'm really not understanding what it's about, so rather than try and come up with my own synopsis, I am going to read you what it says in the dust jacket. Imagine, a boy with a gun waits for the man who killed his mother. A troubled detective confronts her past in the aftermath of a brutal shooting. After 13 years in prison, a good cop walks free as deep in the forest, on the altar of an abandoned church, a body cools in pale linen. This is a town on the brink. This is Redemption Road. So I don't really know what's going to happen in this book, but it sounded really good and it had really good reviews, so that's why I picked it up. The next book I picked up is The Life I Left Behind by Colette Macbeth. What I know about this is it's about this woman named Melody who was attacked and left for dead one day. She was rescued by a dog walker, and a very close friend of hers named David was actually convicted of the crime and sent to prison. So since the accident, Melody has kind of lived life secluded, and she doesn't trust anyone, and she has, lives a very sad and lonely life. Once David is released from prison, another woman gets attacked named Eve and she is murdered. And after they start investigating the case and Melody starts to get involved, she starts to realize that maybe David wasn't the person who did this to her and maybe the person who did it has been out all along and is ready to strike again. It's told not only from um, Melody's point of view, but also from the woman who's murdered Ghost's point of view. So I thought that would be a really interesting point of view to read from. So I'm really interested to get into this. The next two books are books from a series. I think it's a trilogy. A little Annoyed, one's a paperback and one's a hardcover. And the paperback pages are so thin. In reality, the books are the same length almost, but you'll see what I mean, this is ridiculous. And that is the first two books in the Remnant Chronicles. So we have The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson and The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. And now if you look, this first book looks decidedly smaller than the second book, but in actuality they're almost the same page count. The pages in the first book are just so very thin that it's like they're see-through, 100% see-through. I kind of wish I'd gotten the first one in hardcover, but it is what it is. This is about a girl, and I believe she's a princess, and she's supposed to marry someone. She's in an arranged marriage, and the day of her wedding she runs away, 
and then two strangers show up to the place where she has hidden and one is the prince that she was supposed to marry and one is an assassin that has been sent to kill her. She doesn't know which one is which and I guess it's about her trying to figure it out. The next find up I got off Book Outlet was one that I kind of just stumbled across. I didn't really know anything about it, never heard of it, but the little bit of the synopsis I just read was crazy and seemed really interesting to me and that is the Trill Trilogy. Switched is book one, Torn is book two, and Ascend is book three. This is by Amanda Hawking. This just seems really dark and I'm really intrigued to see where this goes. When Wendy Everly was six years old, her mother was convinced she was a monster and tried to kill her. Eleven years later, Wendy discovers her mother might have been right. I don't know if this is supposed to be scary or if it's more just super fantasy. I'm not sure. The next book I have is one that I read back in 2015 and that is The Forgotten Girl by David Bell. I don't remember like exactly what this is about. I think I gave this three out of five stars. I've been wanting to reread it though so that's why I purchased it. From what I can remember this is about a guy whose sister shows up at his doorstep with her daughter and asks him to just watch her for two days and she'll be back at the end of two days. And so he takes in his niece, you know, just hangs out with her for 48 hours except his sister never returns to get her daughter. He starts to wonder where she is and it starts to resurface an incident from the past involving a missing friend and then a body is found and it turns into a mystery and there was a lot going on and I remember there were a lot of plot holes and I wasn't entirely satisfied with this story arc but I just really want to reread it and see how I feel now. For some reason, this story has just been in my mind lately. I don't know why, so I just want to pick it up. I'm not going to go into synopses for these next three books because I feel like this video is going to be long enough and I seem like kind of complicated synopses, so I encourage you to check out the Goodreads links that I will link down below for these books. The first book I got was The Lies Be Told by Diane Chamberlain, and I don't know if I've ever read a book by this author, but the name sounds really familiar. And then I have another book by her, and that is Keeper of the Light. And then the final book, The Heart of the Matter by Emily Giffen. I don't believe this book is part of a series. I have to check it out though. I'm not really sure. These are all the books that were in my November book haul part two, but you know, December now. So December book haul. I will be coming to you soon with my Black Friday book haul. I'm just waiting on one or two more packages to arrive from the book depository. Please comment down below if you've read any of these books, which ones you recommend I should definitely put at a higher priority on my TBR. I will see you soon with a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye guys!